All right, thanks, Corey. This morning, a mother is mourning the loss of her 17-year-old son, a local high school student killed in a triple shooting in northwest Jacksonville. And it's a neighborhood cure violence workers have been focusing on to try to stop retaliation. Action News Jack's Alicia Tarancon joins us now live this morning. And Alicia, cure violence was out there hours before the shooting happened. And the men of Cure Violence are from the same troubled neighborhood in northwest Jacksonville. And they say that they spent at least 500 hours in the last two weeks trying to stop violent crimes like this recent shooting from happening. Cure Violence workers were out working to talk with the victims and suspects after two people were shot on Abelia Street on Wednesday. Two days later, three more people were shot in the same neighborhood in Magnolia Gardens. A 17-year-old was killed in the crossfire. The teen's family told Action News Jax they know the killer and believe their son was targeted. Sky Action News Jax showed us SWAT putting three people in handcuffs. We're working to find out who these men are. Leaders of Cure Violence tell Action News Jax seeing this is frustrating after they spent over 450 hours on these same streets trying to stop the violence. Of course it's discouraging. It's it's heartbreaking. Paul Tutwiler says they can't stop every shooting, but each situation they intervene in could save a life. We're asking them to trust us, be able to literally give us a call if they're aware of any type of incidents that may be arising so that we can pretty much build a peace. And police have not made an arrest in the 17-year-old's death. Anyone with information is asked to call JSO. Now, coming up, leaders of Cure Violence tell us how many people they've been able to reach in order to stop these violent crimes from happening. Reporting live, Alicia Tarancon, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.